Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at where you can get user manuals for your Apple products. So when you get a new Apple product, usually the box has minimal packaging and usually just a small quick start guide. Very simple just to get you into it. And then you're left kind of on your own to figure things out and a lot of people like that. Some people go and get third party books. Uh, other people look online for tutorials. Um, but did you know that there are user manuals for almost every Apple product, hardware and software? They just don't actually print them on paper and include them in the box, but they do put electronic versions online. You can find them and download them easily. So all you need to do is go to support.apple.com slash manuals. Now you get a list here by categories. You can do searches. Let's say uh, we just bought a new Mac Mini. We can go into desktop computers, go to Mac Mini and find out that there are several documents here. So I've got the latest one let's say. Uh, we can even look at different languages, see what's available. Let's go to the user guide and it's a PDF here. And you can scroll through it and see all the different things in this manual here. You can see it gets pretty comprehensive. Um, covering a lot of different things you would expect a normal user manual to go. Now since this is a PDF uh, you can save it. It might be useful to save a copy and it will save the PDF to wherever you want it. Now if we go back we find out this system isn't quite perfect. For instance uh, let's go back to the main manuals level and say we just bought a MacBook Air. Um, we can find that there are no manuals for the MacBook Air. So it hasn't included them for all the products. If we go to uh, say MacBook Pro, you can see that there are quick start guides uh, and a user guide for the different MacBook Pros. And of course, these get updated occasionally. They have older manuals too. Look, you can go all the way back to the old PowerBook G4s, which could come in handy if you have an older one or maybe you just bought a used one. And you can go in here and grab the user manual for it. A lot of the current stuff, like my tutorials, will be on the most current things. So having an older computer might be useful to have the user manual to see exactly what you can do with it and how it works. But there's also user manuals for software. So go into iOS and software here and say for instance uh, we really want to dig into numbers. I go into productivity software and there's the numbers user guide and this is a PDF as well. Uh, after this downloads you'll see that it's pretty comprehensive going into all, all the different things. It's kind of similar to the help that is part of it except you've got it as a PDF here which may be a little easier to read. Now let's say we save this out to the desktop here as a PDF. So I'm going to be using numbers a lot. I want to have the manual to refer to. There it is there. I'm going to double click on it. It opens up in preview. A very lightweight application that I can go and read through here and read about numbers. You can also do cool things like in the table of contents if you see something you want to jump to you can just click on it. And even cooler than that you can search for things. So I want to search for averages because I want to figure out the average uh, using a formula. I can get the search results here and jump back and forth. So it's really useful for a manual say like numbers here to be able to search through it and have that PDF sitting there uh, on my Mac uh, ready to access. So search through it. See what other products you have that there are different uh, manuals for, for instance here. There's iPod shuffle manuals uh, for instance. Uh, there's even documents for iPad accessories that Apple sells. Uh, you can go and look for documents say uh, Apple TV setup guides, um, different software. There's even like say professional software here. Uh, you can get Final Cut Pro user guide which can come in very handy. So hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.